Hi, I'm Catherine Mora. I'm the head book coach and publishing director at Change Empire Books, where we help people write beautiful books and get them out into the world. This is Cat's Book Chat, where I talk every day about everything to do with writing, editing, publishing, and promoting your book. Now, today's topic is want to write your life story, but you're afraid of being sued. So this is something I hear quite a lot because a lot of people do want to write their life story, but they're really concerned about the impact that might have on other people. So sometimes that's upsetting people, which isn't, uh, I don't, I didn't want to say just upsetting people because obviously that's important, but also getting sued can be a very real thing, especially depending where you are, uh, the United States obviously is a, has a bit more of a culture around suing people than we do here in Australia, but I think we're catching up at times. So it is a common fear and it is a realistic fear for a reason. So I just want to run through a couple of things there. In terms of upsetting people, I will say, and some people are then getting upset enough to sue, um, it does happen because when you write a book, even though it's about you, the people in your life who might be mentioned in the book in any amount of detail, to them, it's going to be all about them. Most people are much more concerned about the impact that it has on them than the fact that you're actually really writing about you and what they did might be this much in relation to all the stuff you're spilling about your own life and the, and the things that you did. But people will always see the little bit that's about them and they'll blow it up quite big. So, I'm going to give you a couple of different scenarios. I had a client who wrote a book um, about a very traumatic series of events that happened in her life. And the book was primarily cathartic and a bit of therapy because she had done many years of therapy to get past these events. And the book was part of her sharing the story and part of the healing journey and she felt like she needed to get the book out so that the other things the other creative projects inside her could come out she felt like that book was kind of holding those things down now um there was a person involved in these traumatic events and that person was never confronted at the time or uh accused or therefore not convicted of the things that they did and Therefore, we had to be very careful with the book because this is where you could have a case for defamation, saying something about a person that they can say ruined their reputation. So the decision was made that she would still write the book, but the focus wasn't on the situation that occurred. The focus was on the way that she, how it impacted her and the healing that she did over a very long period, like 20 sort of 30 plus years afterwards how it impacted her and what she eventually did to get to move through that as well as she possibly could and uh, what she's dealing with today so we took the focus off the event and the situation and put it onto what happened afterwards um, the situation was mentioned in brief but it didn't need to be expanded upon because of we focused on that message so in that case there is absolutely no detail that could be construed as a defamation issue. And that worked out very well in terms of the book was written and had the impact that it was uh, supposed to have. So um, the other situation I will give you is of a client who was also involved in something very difficult and the person involved was actually convicted and jailed for their involved for their um, actions in the situation. Now, in that situation, my client was able to talk about the events that happened because they are proven, you know, detailed in public record, and the person was um, jailed for the situation. So um, I know that all sounds very vague, but um, it's best that I explain it that way for for privacy reasons at the moment. So. In that situation, there's no defamation when the person has been convicted. So there are different ways of approaching your story so that 
getting sued is not an issue. Obviously, if there's if it's a bit touch and go, then we get a lawyer involved and get them to read it. I always suggest to my clients to go raw and go hard in the first draft, don't hold anything back, and then later on we'll look at it in the edit if it needs to be toned down and then it can be shown to a lawyer. But at first, just go all out so you can really get out your truth and your emotions. Um, I will say don't let your family read it until it's done because and and you can decide at which point you let them read it after that because they will have an opinion based on their own interpretation of the situation. So remember, this is your life and your story. It is also up to you how to tell it and you can put those disclaimers in the beginning like this is my story as I saw it, um, And it, but it is your truth. The other thing to consider is can the book actually open up a conversation between you and your family members or friends or loved ones, whoever they are that are involved, to talk about how you actually felt? Can you actually give them the book to demonstrate and really show them how you felt about something that occurred or the way they treated you or something like that? Do you want to leave the book as the way to do that or do you want to go to some counselling or talk about it? beforehand before you show them the book or you know there are sort of different ways to approach it these are all things we can talk about um, if ever you do want to write a book and you would like help with that but there are other many ways that you can approach the situation so that it works for you and your goal and your objective with writing your book I hope that was helpful and until next time happy writing